I'm Ray Brady and this is Richard Crisco and this is the project we did on reverse engineering of a bottle. The first part you see here is the part that allows the conditioner to come out of it, to come out of the bottle. Without this part, the conditioner will be will not be able to come out. The second part you see down here is the part that um, it screws on the bottle to keep the conditioner in the bottle. Without this part, the conditioner will not be able to stay in the bottle and it will just fall out. Over here is the third part and the this part holds the conditioner to go up to the um, second part in order for it to go to the cap to come out of the bottle. Um, the fourth part you see down here, um, this is the bottle and it holds the leave conditioner in and without this you wouldn't, have, you wouldn't be able to have anything because there would be nowhere for the conditioner to stay. Um, this is our assembly that we drew in a bit of each part and then this is our exploded view of each part. Over here, you see that we have our dimensions of each part. Like this is the dimensions of the cap, and this is the dimensions of the thing that screws on the bottle. And these are the dimensions of the um, tube that goes inside the bottle. And these are the dimensions of the actual bottle itself. And um, probably the hardest part to make an inventor was the cap because you had a do a lot of different things to get the indention in the middle right here to put where your finger goes. And we probably could have made it a little bit better because it doesn't look exactly like the cap of the actual bottle. And the second hardest part was probably the bottle itself because you couldn't get like the actual form because it was just like too difficult. And then this this part wasn't too bad because it was just like circles and you just extruded them up. But at the end, this is what our final one looks like. 